This is TVG and today we're taking a trip to Pompano Beach, Florida to the Westview Community Cemetery to visit one of the all-time great actresses, Esther Roll, best known for the CBS television series Maud and the spin-off series Good Times. Good times. Come with me. Let's see what we can find. Okay guys, I found it. We're at the Westview Community Cemetery in Pompano Beach, Florida. This is where Esther Roll is laid to rest. Park to come in. Huh? I want to come in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. How Good, how are you? Do you know much about this cemetery? Uh, not really. I got a brother out here. Okay, because I'm looking for an actress, Esther Roll. Esther Roll. She was in Good Times. Yeah, she's out here somewhere. I don't know exactly. Okay, I'm going to take a look. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm in the cemetery. I'm looking for Esther right now. It's starting to rain, guys. 
It's thunder and lightning. Even though it's loud, it's peaceful. It's slightly loud, but it's very peaceful. Trust me, I could feel it. It's very serene. There's a lot of sand. There's a lot of dirt. There's tombstones missing, broken, faded. But these people will Buried here in the 1930s. 1935. Back then, this is the best they had. And to keep it in good condition was not easy. The cemetery might not be gorgeous or beautiful, but it makes up for it with its heart. Esther died at 78 years old in Culver City, California, and she was flown back here to her hometown in Pompano Beach, Florida, to be buried with her sister. She wanted to be in her hometown, her home community. Here it is, guys. Esther Roll. Esther Roll, Summer of My German Soul. Esther was born into a big family. She was the 10th child out of 18 children. Not only was Esther a dancer and an actress, but she also was a singer. She put out a debut album, and I'll find you a clip and I'll play it below. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yay. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. It's an honor to be standing here with Esther. I'm taking my time. I'm not in a rush. I'm just trying to get the real feel for this place and try to figure out why Esther wanted to come back to Pompano Beach, Florida and be buried here with her family. But after spending an hour or so here, I totally understand why she made that decision and I think she did the right thing. This is a very peaceful, soulful, 
spiritual, quiet cemetery. Even though it's noisy, there's, there's traffic on this side, there's a steel mill on that side that is constantly making noise. It's boxed in, but I still feel it's the right thing. It's a very small cemetery. I'm proud of where Esther is buried. I think she made the right decision. You'd be happy for her to be buried here. The only other person that I could think of that loves Esther as much as I do is my brother. We both grew up to good times. Florida Evans, the mother of JJ. Dino Mike. <laughs> this is an eviction notice. He said, don't worry about it, because they know I'm a hard-working man. They'll extend me. Yeah, they'll extend you right out into the street. Esther was a very strong lady. With her fame, she tried to help women of color in media. She even threatened to leave good times. In her later days, she became affiliated with a psychic TV show or a psychic network, and I'll find the clip and play it below. Esther, I can't go on this way. Don't worry. If you really need to know, then you've got to call my caring psychic family. If you have a question, I know we can help you too. Best of all, you get 25 free minutes to start. I want you to pick up the phone and give us a try. This call is free. beautiful day. It's pretty windy, but it's beautiful. It's a little noisy, but it's peaceful. It's not the most beautiful cemetery I've ever been to, but there's something about it. It's right where she grew up, down the street from her high school. In Esther's early 30s, she married the famous basketball player Oscar Robinson. They stayed married for five years and they divorced without any children. Esther found that she loved to cook and she started to gain a little weight and that's when she was diagnosed with diabetes. She started to smoke. That's what she ultimately died of was diabetes. What a great vibe I have in this cemetery. Everyone was very nice to me. Um, I got to walk around and experience the true feel of this place. No one's here. If you read on um, Yelp or Wikipedia, it said it needs maintenance, but you know what? Since I've been here, that all they've been doing is manicuring the grounds. This was a great experience for me. I had a great time, everything worked out. This is where America's mom was buried. Right here in Pompano Beach, Florida. And this is her final resting place. She did it her way. Rest in peace, Esther. You're an American icon very missed. Goodbye, Esther. I'll come and visit again. Making a way 
Times is recorded on tape before a live audience. Ain't we lucky we got em. And that's it for today. And if you like this episode, please give it an old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And share it with a friend, if possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And one last thing. I'd like to give a shout-out to my mom, TVG.